Cape Blanchett fans, ladies and gentlemen, this is a warning, this is a trigger warning. We're going to be slagging off Cape Blanchett in this video. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a Cape Blanchett fan. And she's been pissing me off all this crap about the patriarchy. So that's tonight's report from Tiger Mountain. Kate Blanchett, ladies and gentlemen. Look, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not one to slag off, um, you know, actors and actresses from Australia because I'm very pro um, Australian cinema, as you know, from the Melbourne Underground Film Festival. I'm a filmmaker myself, so you know, it's with a heavy heart that I, I, I produce tonight's uh, report from Tiger Mountain. But I think I've got to say something about Kate Blanchett. She's a pain in the ass, isn't she? You know what I mean? She's been making. Look, let's just be honest. She can act. She can act. We all know she can act. You know, she's done some. Pretty good work over the years in different films. You know, but I, I was thinking about it the other day. I was thinking, you know, Kate Blanchett, you know. I don't think I've ever said to anybody, oh my God, did you see that new film starring Kate Blanchett? It's fantastic. I can't believe it. Now, I've seen films with Kate Blanchett and I've said that's not a bad movie. But, you know, I don't know. There's something about it that's slightly irritating. And the thing that really is irritating about Kate Blanchett is her politics. Of course, she's been a white princess, but you can be a white princess and, you know, um, you know, sort of keep it in the background and not make it kind of what you're, you know, known for. But Kate Blanchett has gone out of her way to position herself as a kind of woke, um, you know, speaker, the head of the head of the pack, so to speak. And recently, I think it was, I'm not sure it was at the Golden Globes, it was the award that came after the Golden Globes. She attacked um, you know, the patriarchy at the awards. She said, oh, you know, aren't we all sick of these awards ceremonies and their hierarchical patriarchy? By the way, it just happens to be, you know, awarding me every single time. But I guess, you know, and I do turn up to accept these awards, but that's not actually participating or uh, being kind of, what's the word, um, you know, uh, enabling. That's nothing like that. Of course it is. But uh, she doesn't seem to realise that. And she compared herself to somebody who makes Tampax ads, like, you know, my performance in Tar is really in dialogue with like an actress who works in the Tampax commercial. I mean, it's so much like bullshit, you know what I mean? She knows, I mean, she is reasonably good at her job and that she constantly gets awards, which she does. Uh, as I said, I'm not the world's biggest fan of her. I've noted she's done some good work in some films, but as I said, there's no one film I know of where, I just, where she really blew me away. The only time she really did blow me away was 25 years ago in a play in the, uh, the 1990s I saw up in Sydney called Oliana with Jeffrey Rush. It was Jeffrey Rush and Kate Blanchett, the only two actors on stage, and they were absolutely fantastic. And, and in that, she played a kind of woke feminist who falsely accused her professor, Jeffrey Rush, of sexual impropriety. And I thought it was brilliant. And uh, Jeffrey Rush was fantastic being falsely accused, which I think he was recently. And she was somebody who did the false accusing. And then, and, which of course sounds, sounds completely like her, right? So, um, you know, that to me was a play. I remember coming away from that and going, Kate Blanchett and Jeffrey Rush. And this was before they were famous. This is before, um, you know, like, uh, Jeffrey Rush was famous, and even before Kate Blanchett. This is around 95, 96, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, um, that was a really, really good play. And uh, they did turn that into a film. David Mamet wrote the original play. But, um, you know, they weren't in it. They, but they were the stars of the Australian version of the play. So that was the only thing I've ever seen her in where she really blew me away. And obviously I did think this woman's got a big future. And I was correct, obviously. Um, but I think it's sad the way she's constantly inserting her politics we're sick of it i mean you can have your private opinions and if occasionally it comes up in an interview that's fine but every time you accept an award do you have to you know get up on stage and attack the patriarchy the patriarchy that keeps awarding you again and again and again she's nominated for academy award for this film tar now i haven't seen that maybe this film tar is interesting because it does deal with the notion of political correctness it deals with the idea of me too and i think it sort of attacks it apparently so it might be a non-pc film so maybe somehow kate Blanche has done something kind of interesting so we do have to check it out it's directed by a guy called Todd Field who was a kind of protege of Stanley Kubrick he was Nick Nightingale in the film um, Eyes Wide Shut the guy who played the organ who was friends with Tom Cruise in that film so uh, Todd Field is a very interesting director he's made a couple of great films so we'll check it out but you know the whole noise about Kate Blanchett she just gives me the shits ladies and gentlemen and I'm sorry I hate to knock an Australian actress but I had to make this report from Tiger Mountain to enlighten you all with my views, so there it is. Apologies to Kate Blanchett fans, but you know, get your act together. You know, and go win the Academy Award, you bitch.